Good morning. Today is Friday, August 15th. I'm trying to make up for lost time, uh, so I'm going to do a couple more daily briefings today. So I was just taking a look at the uh, the website for the GSMA, right? So GSMA is a um, industry group that represents large telecom providers. They are also the organizer and sponsor, primary sponsored organizer of the various Mobile World Congress events, right? The largest being in Barcelona, and then they also put on one, uh, I think, in Asia as well. Uh, that either just happened or is going to be happening this fall. Anyways, um, I went to their news section and something caught my eye, right? And I think it, it, it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone who saw the article. Uh, but it says, uh, the headset, that headline says, King stumbles in Q2. So they're talking about King Digital Entertainment. King Digital Entertainment uh, is the maker of the Candy Crush Saga, those games that are uh, terribly addictive. And I'm sure a lot of you have received a uh, countless number of invitations to play over Facebook. Now, um, it says that uh, they actually reduced their outlook for 2014 after reporting worse than expected results, prompting its share price to fall to the lowest since its IPO, which happened in March. Now, my question is, is anyone really surprised by this? I think you just need to look at what happened with Zynga um, uh, to actually kind of create a similar roadmap for King, right? So um, uh, Zynga had the situation where they were heavily dependent on one game, being Farmville, and they were heavily dependent on one platform or source that was beyond their control where that game was played, which was Facebook. Right, and I think King is in a similar situation with Candy Crush Saga. They have one game. It was their, it, it has been their primary driver of revenue, attention, eyeballs, dollars, however you actually want to measure it, quantitative and qualitative. That has been the driving force behind their success. And they need to identify new titles, new games, new platforms, new acquisition targets. They need to grow either inorganic uh, or organically um, in order to actually justify folks actually keeping their money in the stock. If they don't, they are going to fail because like it or not, as a publicly traded company, they are no longer just beholden to their own uh, own desires, their own roadmaps. They're also going to be asked some serious questions uh, from their investors every quarter. They can no longer just look at something from a year, two year, three year timeline. They need to look at it by the quarter. And um, I will be very interested to see uh, what they report for Q3 and see if their guidance is actually any lower, uh, simply because I am not too terribly uh, convinced that this market entire, that th this market in general, right, where you have these games that are based on virtual currency primarily, um, uh, really do represent a built to last investment. So I think we'll uh, definitely, uh, time will tell. And obviously, I'm looking forward to, uh, to more information that comes out as it comes out. So. I hope you enjoyed the quick video. Um, I'm trying to make it really brief, uh, hence the reason why I'm talking really fast. So I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.